I was probably about 1966, I think. Yeah, about 1966 when Coburn had first come over and uh, Suzuki brought him down from San Francisco to our Los Altos group so we would, so we would meet him. He was just, he was very dear. He was very dear and very, very um, in his body, just in his body, meaning that he, he was fluid and graceful. And uh, uh, I also remember that English was really hard for him, that he, uh, very hard. Um, um, and, and giving talks, Suzuki Roshi made him give talks in Tulsa Sahara when Suzuki wasn't there. And it was odd. it was a very hard experience for Coburn. But when he wasn't having to talk and think, it was, you know, so fluid. There's a story, Suzuki Roshi, um, I tell about Suzuki Roshi in which um, we were on our way to Tassahara and uh, uh, we're at a little cafe and um, uh, he sees a banana split, someone serving a banana split to someone else in the cafe and he says to me, what's that? I mean, he really, he looks at it. He, I mean, he really takes it in. He looks at it. I mean, and when you look at a banana, banana split, all the colors <laughs> and the way the, the ice cream is put, the different, the different flavors, the cherry and the whipped cream. I mean, he really, he was grooving on it. He'd never seen anything like it. He said, what's that? I said, it's a banana split. He said, I want one of those. And they, they bring him the banana split. And he looks at it, and you know, there's the chocolate and the vanilla and the strawberry. And he takes a little bite of the chocolate and the vanilla and the strawberry, a little bite of the whipped cream. Look at the cherry, he doesn't touch the cherry. <laughs> and then he says, ah. He says, just like America, everything mixed together. <laughs> and then he said, enough for me, now you, you, know, you eat it. <laughs> So why am I telling this story? Well, our culture is so different. Uh, Japanese culture was a homogenous culture for hundreds of years where everybody did everything the same. Uh, and there was, a, a, you, you could tell by people's body language how to do things because there were, whereas we're the most heterogeneous cultures in the world, maybe not the most, people coming together from different different cultures, uh, trying, to, trying to live together. We don't understand how to communicate with each other because our communication from our, our parent culture, European or Hispanic or African, different, different ways of talking, different ways of being, different ways of doing the being in the body. So we all are mixed, we, we're all mixed together. And uh, so how are we going to do Zen in, in this country when we're all mixed together? It's got to be different than in that country. It's got to be different. That island that was segregated from the rest of the world for hundreds of years, uh, but the spirit is the same. <laughs> so that's, that's what we get to do, Joe.